Well, we're looking at uh, the wonderful work of uh, local artists here in Cold Spring. that art is the savior of industrial uh, obsolescence and has been a large factor in places around us, Manhattan, Lincoln Center, BAM, and uh, now here we are in Cold Spring with a strong art movement, uh, a good group of uh, active artists, creative people, and um, that's what makes the community thrive. I'm Peter Bynum, and I live in Colts. This is uh, 10 layers of tempered glass lit by flat panel LEDs, so light is adjustable. The layers here are exploded, contrary to typical painting laid together on canvas. These layers are separate, and you see through one layer to the next, and the next, and the next. So the, the paint is actually surrounded by light. This space is still known as the old Salmagundi bookstore, which it hasn't been for probably about 10 years but it's one of those uh, local things. We all still refer to it that way. We are three artists in here. We do mostly black and white film um, and gelatin silver prints, but I do have some digital prints as well. I'm Imogene Drummond. I'm a painter and filmmaker. I live in Garrison. I mostly make paintings on paper, and I have traveled and painted to sacred sites around the world. Um, so the iconography is related to that frequently. My name is Sheila Reck Schaefer, and I live in Garrison. I'm here with this pastel drawing. It's called Horizontal Number no. 2, and it comes from a series that I did that's called Green in Vietnam. This has to do with how the color green is the color of regeneration and rebirth. And 35 years after the fall of Saigon, which was in April, April 30th, 1975, we go back to Vietnam and we see this country transform. And you did the, uh, it's called Echoes of the Titan Children. It's the, the badminton set, the jacks, and the uh, string telephone. I have five children and we used to spend summers in Vermont. So whenever I leave this place, it's always like the scale of the place, the beauty of the place, looking at Hudson. So you just leave, you got the scale and the beauty, and then you hear the sounds of the children running through there. So that, that was the impression I had when I left. And then um, 
it turned into that. taking pictures. It's the ultimate photo op for people who come to uh, Saunders Farm today. Take home a memento. It's really not about the camera, although it looks like it is. It's about uh, a concept of, um, of photography and, and, and presence in photography. We take photographs of people who come up to the farm and um, we present them with an envelope which has the film in it. And in order for the exposure to work correctly, they have to wait seven hours uh, before they open it. When they open it seven hours from now, it actually doesn't change much from this. There's a poem, and then there's a photograph of the um, a photograph of what you see when you're standing here. And the Obscura poem is, the camera's nature is to open and shut upon essentials of shadow and light. To insist on more would only obscure. What are we beside absorption and reflection?